Good morning, children. Today we are going to discuss about another important concept that is medical waste management. So, in the pollution chapter, we are discussing about another important concept that is medical waste management. So, what is medical waste in the environmental? So, we discussed about environmental issues chapter. We discussed about air pollution, water pollution, radioactive pollution, okay, solid waste management. Like that, different concepts we discussed, right? So, today we are going to discuss about another concept that is medical waste. What do you call it? Medical waste. So, medical waste in the sense you know very well, the hospital waste, am I right? So, hospitals mainly produces variety of waste materials, you know, any kind of waste that contains infectious material generated by any kind of waste, that is infectious material generated by hospitals, laboratories, medical research centers. What do you call hospitals, laboratories, medical research centers, pharmaceutical companies, veterinary clinics are called medical waste. Very simple. What is the first point? Any waste which causes infections, infectious material, very dangerous. See, when we touch that material, we will get infections. Such a dangerous materials. So, hazardous health related problems, bacterial infections, viral infections, protozoan infections, fungal infections, okay, airborne infections, waterborne infections because of that medical waste, foodborne infections. So, this infectious material generated by hospitals, hospitals, laboratories, medical research centers, and what are called pharmaceutical companies, veterinary clinics are called medical wastes. Are called which one? Medical wastes. This is a medical waste. Okay. So medical wastes are blood. First one is a blood, urine, body parts, other contaminants, culture dishes, glassware bandages, gloves, discarded needles, scalps, scalpels, swabs and tissues. So these all are generally hospital waste and medical waste. So for example one by one you can see. For example blood. So blood is a very common in the hospitals and the urine also, body parts other contaminants, culture dishes. So, if laboratory means culture dishes, by using in the laboratory what we will use? We will use the glass dishes and we will use the bandages. Suppose any fracture or any injury immediately, what we will do? Bandages, that waste bandages. Okay, gloves, discarded needles, scalpels, swabs and the tissues. These all are the medical waste major materials. Then what to do? Very dangerous. Highly infectious, highly dangerous diseases will cause, cause because of this medical waste. So what to do? That is an important point. What should I have to do for the medical waste? This medical waste should have to management is must and should proper management is must and should for the medical waste. Okay. Safe and sustainable management of biomedical waste is the social and legal responsibility. So safe and sustainable management of the biomedical waste is social and legal responsibility so that is everyone's responsibility otherwise pandemics epidemics even people will be die because of such a what you call, what you call waste material so proper biomedical waste management is social public and legal government also authorized legal responsibilities of people working in healthcare centers so people working in healthcare centers okay that is the most most important otherwise what will happen i said no bacterial infection 
fungal infection will be who have to take care health care center workers people working in health care center workers health care center workers should have to think about that one why because it's a social responsibility to properly management of the this waste okay that is a health care workers whose responsibility safe and sustainable management of biomedical waste is the social and legal responsibility of people working in the health care centers next waste disposal this is important so how to dispose this waste come on incineration chemical disinfections so we can spray the chemical disinfections as well as very very important and autoclave you know very well autoclaving means keeping the what you call very high temperature if you are keep keeping the autoclaves that are dishes or glass, what you call needles and what you call glassware so automatically the contaminants are the infectious causing agents like bacteria virus and uh, what you call fungi protozoan such all harmful microbes okay which are present on that glassware they will be die so autoclaving is the autoclave is a must and should autoclaves are very important why because by high temperature we will use in the autoclave okay in that autoclave temperature microorganisms cannot survive so autoclaving is important next encapsulation and microwave okay microwave irradiation 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 very very important our methods of waste disposals finite disposal includes landfill and burying as per norms inside the premises landfill and burying this is the most important so corner you should take the all the waste materials city outskirts or the where the public will not move that corner places we should have to take according to the norms and premises landfills are burying as per the norms inside the premises we have to why because very hazardous very dangerous compulsory proper treatment is must and should these all the things we have to care about that understand or not next electronic waste what is electronic waste for example you are using your own computer so scanners printers okay next keyboard mouses and other electronic devices okay next cell phones and tablets audio video equipments television monitor and laptops personal electronic devices these all the things will be there in the what you called their electronic waste one single computer only you have this many waste electronic waste in the sense how many computers are there in the india wide in the world wide one simason so that is why the electronic waste is too much right now in the world so proper management of electronic wastes proper management of electronic waste or e waste you have to discarded electrical electronic devices okay why because hazardous substances are there in the electronic waste also very dangerous substances also will be there okay children okay electronic waste or e waste describes discarded electrical electronic devices discarded from where it is coming discarded electrical electronic devices this is important next as well as any refuse created by discarded electronic devices as components and substances involved in their manufacture or use suppose any electronic device is there it's not working or is not refused in the sense that all waste materials which are there in that electronic device also convert into electronic waste components and substances involved in their manufacture or use their disposal is a growing problem so the disposal of this electronic waste is a, a growing problem because electronic equipment frequently contains hazardous 
electronic equipment frequently contains what jordus substances in your personal computer for example in your personal computer you see what will be there there may be lead in the cathode ray tube crt is there or not cathode ray tube lead is there very dangerous cathode ray tube lead is there mercury in switches and housing mercury in switches and housing like that and cobalt in steel components among other equal toxic substances are there so crt cathode ray tube consists of lead and soldering a, a compounds mercury in switches cobalt in the steel components will be there so very dangerous e waste are basically what is the electronic waste are basically poly chrominated by phenyl very important poly chlorinated by phenyl poly chlorinated by phenyl so electronic waste are generally poly chlorinated by phenyl so these are non degradable which are non degradable poly chlorinated by phenyl are non biodegradable then what used electrons which is destined for reuse resale salvage recycling and disposal also considered so which are the used material also considered for reuse purpose recycle purpose salvage and recycling purpose we will use no some some electronic way electronic devices we will give those also will be considered as a electronic waste they will also consider as which one electronic waste so some countries for re recycling purpose so used electron which are designed so some countries what i will do another unauthorized processing of electronic waste some countries what they will do unauthorized for recycling electronic waste okay so very very important in developing countries can lead to adver adverse human health effects causes pollution so what some countries will do in a proper norms they won't follow for recycling and disposal of electronic waste so those countries will create a what do you call a big problems risk to health disposal so very dangerous problems will be come so that is very risk to health why because those electronic waste what i said highly hazardous what do you call highly hazardous so very dangerous and risk to health so what we have to do so significant risk to health of workers and communities in developed countries great care must be taken for recycling units and reusing cycles okay must be taken to avoid unsafe exposure in unsafe exposure we should have to avoid and what you called leaking of materials such as heavy metals from landfills and incinerator ashes we should have to do properly for example recycling operations where we will do okay must be taken care care must be taken great care must be taken from where leaking of materials from heavy metals from landfills and incinerated ashes so where the this landfills are there or incinerated ashes are there from those areas we should have to what you call take very great care why because we expose that's it we will get the cancer we expose that's it we will get health related issues so wherever the landfills are there and incinerator ashes are there we should not expose especially while doing recycling so the country should have to take care especially for those next what are the best solutions to control the this electronic waste there is four r's are there reduce refuse reuse recycle what is the meaning of that reduce better you can stop usage of electronics too much electronics not not at all necessary reduce the usage of electronics refuse suppose anyone is giving freely or anyone is donating electronics also what you have to do you should have to refuse then reuse so instead of wasting instead of throwing out what should have to do we should use reuse so reduce refuse reuse and recycling so these are the what i called reduce 4r mantra what is the mantra 4r mantra the 4r mantra is reduce refuse reuse recycle is uh, must and should reduce reuse refuse and recycling 
are the best solutions for the what you called this electronic waste management why because if you reduce there is a less pollution if you refuse there is no pollution at all if you reuse we can control the electronic waste if you recycling that is also well and good but at the recycling time so care must and should required reduce reuse recycling and refuse this all are the for our technique or for our mantra which is very useful to control the electronic waste okay children like this we should have to take the proper management of waste medical waste okay once again should listen very carefully children so medical waste means infectious materials generated by hospitals laboratories medical research centers pharmaceutical companies veterinary clinics are called medical waste the medical waste consists of blood urine body parts other contaminants culture dishes glasswares bandages gloves discarded needles scalpels swabs and tissues so safe and sustainable management of biomedical waste is a social and legal responsibilities of people working in healthcare center what how to do how to what you call everyone's responsibility for proper management otherwise very hazardous dangerous will cons consider as a pandemics epidemics like that they will spread waste disposal incineration chemical disinfection auto claving encapsulation microwave irradiation or methods of waste disposals final disposal including landfill and burying as per norms inside the premises so you know very well right now corona corona kits also so many waste so much waste so there's all the things we should have to use electronic waste or e waste discarded electronic electrical electronic devices hazardous substances okay these are electronic waste so electronic waste or e waste are what from where we are getting a discarded electrical electronic devices the hazardous substances very hazardous very very dangerous substances the personal computer for example you take only one your personal computer it consists of lead non biodegradable so lead you know very well it's there in the cathode ray tube crt and soldering com soldering compounds mercury switches cobalt steel components okay and this all electronic waste are pcb what is the pcb polychlorinated biphenol non biodegradable what do you call substances so while using resale salvage recycling or disposal electronic reuse material also electronic waste resale material also electronic waste salvage recycling also or disposal also electronic waste so this many ways the electronic waste is generated some countries anotherized the electronic waste uh, countries they are recycling in anotherized ways so human health effects it will be it causes very dangerous human health effects and causes environmental pollution also so what to do recycling disposal of e electronic waste is a compulsory properly we should have to manage otherwise risk to health great care must be taken from the uh, what you called heavy metals from landfills and incinerated ashes exposing at the time of exposing why because if heavy metals you expose you will get the cancer are incinerated ashes so much hazardous so should not as uh, recycling units we should not uh, recalled expose so great care must ensure from leaking materials okay so next what is the best solution for the electronic waste controlling the electronic waste controlled by the 4r mantra what is 4r mantra reduce refuse reuse recycling reduce refuse reuse recycling is the best concept to control the electronic waste reduce means what controlling of a limited amount of electronic waste reuse refuse means we should not take reuse means okay which one we are using already you can use reuse then automatically quality of the electronic waste will be decrease quantity recycling recycling means the already used one again when you use there is no chance for the electronic waste so reduce refuse reuse recycling point of view if you give then that is well and good for what for development of good environmental without 
e-waste electronic waste we can develop the good earth otherwise if you use too much electronic waste they now they won't degrade it will take too much time to degrade so everyone care everyone should have to use four hour mantra reduce refuse reuse recycle